Cole Wisnier from Blue Jays Center here with the Blue Jays number 14th ranked prospect Damiano Palmajani out of the game today. Damiano, thanks for taking the time. I want to ask, where'd the passion for baseball come from for you? Uh, probably from my dad. My uh, Both my parents, super sporty people, and my dad, you know, huge baseball fan growing up. Uh, so I would say from him and, you know, then just growing up through, you know, t-ball, all that, and, and just falling in love with it. When did you know that you could do this for a career? Uh, honestly, we're, you know, we're still kind of proving that to myself, you know, every day. So, uh, but, uh, I would say, you know, as a kid, I mean, I just knew I loved it more than I played basketball and soccer and I was okay at those, but baseball was pretty good at, and I had more fun with it than other sports. So I knew I was going to try to do this as long as I can. So whether professional or not, so. Okay. Yeah. When you eventually, you know, got onto the MLB radar, you got drafted in the 35th round, you decided to go to college. What went into that decision? Uh, I was just young, and, you know, obviously, uh, as a high school pick, you want to make sure it's a good uh, setting for you to, to not only develop, but, you know, just set yourself up well to, to move on and, and be successful in the, in, the pro, in the organization. And I felt at that time maybe I, I wasn't checking off all those boxes, so I wanted to go back to school and, and be ready, and ultimately it paid off. So At the time, did it feel like a big bet on yourself? Because I know that, at least coming from where I'm from, like in Canada, getting that opportunity, you know, it doesn't happen every day. So it's like putting the bet on yourself to perform better in college, to get drafted again in a higher round. Did you feel like you had a lot of pressure on yourself? Uh, I mean, there's always the, pr the pressure and maybe the, the fear of, you know, not meeting expectations. But uh, at the same time, like, we are blessed to be able to play baseball, right. uh, you know, in school and, and now professionally. So I was just having fun with it. I knew that if I did the things I – was gonna do and 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 you know was able to do that that it was gonna work out again so uh yeah definitely a little bit of pressure but i, I wasn't too worried about it because you know regardless of whatever happened i would have been really happy with with you know taking chances on myself like that yeah fair enough and it worked out you went all the way up to a 14th round pick by the same team the toronto blue jays what was that experience like you know turning them down the first time but then going through negotiations and coming to a deal the second time yeah i mean uh you know, as you're going through the draft process for a second time, you kind of know uh, what teams are at play. It was, a, you know, a good handful of them. And uh, I wasn't saying it in the draft process, but I really wanted the Jays to draft me again. Um, you know, obviously them being my favorite team. And for it to work out the way it did, not only did they pick me again, it was a good uh, setting for, for me to want to sign and jump into it and get going. So, you know, I, uh, they deserve uh, the best of me every day because, you know, I'm so grateful for them. So. That's awesome, man. And you were born in Venezuela. How did the process work to you, you know, becoming a Canadian citizen? Uh, immigrated from Venezuela to uh, Surrey, British Columbia when I was five years old. Okay. And then uh, obviously go through the whole, uh, you know, permanent residence into yeah. your citizenship. I think I got my citizenship. Uh, so I might, you know, be wrong on this, eight or nine years old, I think. Okay. And then ever since then, we haven't looked back. And, you know, I'm just so proud of, of being Canadian and, you know, uh, growing up there and having this such a big part of my identity being from Canada, I, you know, it's, it's, it's everything to me. And I want to get into the, you representing Canada, the World Baseball Classic, obviously a very cool experience that not a lot of major, major leaguers can even say they've done. What was that experience like for you? It was awesome. I mean, it was uh, really cool. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of really good players to, for me to pick their brain and, and, you know, get to know kind of what makes them great and special and, and just watching baseball at that highest level. I think I only got better from it. So I'm glad I did it. And, you know, it was obviously something I'm going to hold with me forever. I mean, the Team Canada got to go up against Team USA's lineup, 29,000 people in the stands. What was that like? Do you remember anything specific from that game? Uh, yeah, I just remember usually games start filling up the stands, like as the closer you get to first pitch. But I think we had 29,000 before our BP was even done. Uh, so... You know, uh, just hitting BP and trying to get my normal pregame work in with all those people watching was a little different and uh, super awesome. So, uh, you know, that's that's cool. And obviously the anthems were insane. And, and yeah, all, it was the whole memory of it. I have it pretty ingrained in my head. It was awesome. That's fantastic. What's been a highlight of your professional career? Maybe it's the World Baseball Classic outside of draft day. Um. Honestly, the whole thing has been a highlight to me. I, I you know, I love showing up to the field every day and, and putting on the jersey. Uh, there's so many to count, you know, just being able to represent the Blue Jays in Arizona, uh, in the Fall League, being able to play for the Vancouver Canadians, uh, everything now in Buffalo. You know, the, the, these fans are great. This, uh, this, this organization is so great. So the whole thing's a highlight to me. Sweet, man. Going into 2024, what's something you've added to your game? 
Uh, I would say just complete baseball player. You know what I mean? I think uh, on all, both sides of the ball, be able to you know impact the game defensively, offensively, and on the base pass. I think it's the most important thing. So uh, just you know, not you're not going to be able to show all aspects of it every day. Ideally, you can, but right. uh, you know, uh, baseball is not an easy sport. So being able to do what I can to help the team win is important. Right. What do you think is missing for you to get the call up to the majors? Uh, I think it's just, you know, some time and, and experience and get perfect my craft and what I do well. And, you know, eventually if they need something that I can provide, they'll let me know. So uh, two, two final questions for you and two fun ones uh, on topic. Last two weeks, you guys got to face Paul Skeens twice. Obviously just got the call up. What was that like? Yeah, he's a special pitcher. I mean, you know, all his, uh, all his pitches, you know, profile really well. And he's throwing things that, you know, He's, he's throwing things in the zone that maybe you can put in play off other guys, and we're just, you know, fouling, fouling them off. And, and you just got to be perfect with him because he's, you know, he's, he's a good pitcher. And, and you know, I, I have zero doubt in my mind that he's going to be a real good big leaguer. So, you know, I wish him the best. It was fun facing him. Do you think that's the toughest pitcher you've faced so far? Um, yeah, I mean, it's up there. He profiles the same way as a lot of, like, really difficult pitchers. Um, yeah, he'd definitely be up there. Uh, and. Yeah, I can't think of – there's a lot of guys that I face sometimes that I'm like, dang, like that was – and then it kind of, you know, I forget about it. But, yeah. you know, he's definitely up there. Okay, my final question is, today's Mother's Day, obviously. So you have a message for your mom? Yeah, I do, actually. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, I love you. I know you're probably going to be watching this. So uh, thank you for being the best mom in the world uh, and raising me and my sister. And, you know, we couldn't do anything without you. So happy Mother's Day for me to you and all the mothers out there. You know, mothers, you know, are the best, so. Awesome, Damiano. Thank you very much. Blue Jays ranked number 14th prospect. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. man. Thanks.